Before we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. Beto said that they had to be renowned fighters. Hmm. Who will we be up against? Hello! Are you here to compete in the Crux Clash? You bet I am. Have you put your names down yet? Well, I'd have a look at the entrance criteria if I were you. Then it'll allow just anyone to take part. The Clash is a comprehensive test of fighting ability. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, right? Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, Paimon's wondering, are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh yeah. Doesn't sound like the most official tournament out there. Hmm. What? You... Nonsense! Have you been living under a rock? It's been going on for years! There were plenty of competitors when I took part. Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. There were two of them trying to escape. I soon sorted them out. They tried to sneak past me under the cover of darkness. <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. I planted a left hook on the skinnier one's face and sent him flying. Then, the big guy pulled out a knife! I stood my ground, of course. A roundhouse kick sent the blade hurtling into a beam above us. <laughs> I told you. Unarmed, outnumbered two to one, but I still got the upper hand. I'm not saying I came out completely unscathed, of course. But the fact remains that I did manage to subdue the both of them. And hand them over to the Millilith. I received quite the commendation. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. But for us, even four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna keep looking around. I'll see you in the arena, but I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. See you in the arena, kid. Watch out for my signature roundhouse. Hi there, are you here for the Crux Clash too? That's right. Nothing beats real-life combat for honing your skills. That's what our master taught us. But this tournament is more than just a chance to put training into practice. It's also a chance for us to obtain the masterless vision. Exactly! With a vision, we'd quickly become our master's top students. This master of yours must be pretty incredible, huh? Are they someone famous? Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan and his skills are unparalleled. Liang and I are both proud disciples of his. You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It was founded quite recently. The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master himself anyway. He's got to be a grand master or something. He's created many different styles of Kung Fu and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as force dispersal. Force dispersal? It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. For example, our master can use it to alter the path of an attacking fist or change the direction of an incoming stone, all without breaking a sweat. One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. It sure is, but it's extremely difficult to cultivate this ability. We've been training for ages, and we're still getting to grips with the very basics. There's no way we could use it proficiently yet. <sighs> we're clearly not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. If we don't start making progress soon, we'll probably run out of money to pay the tuition fees and still have nothing to show for all our training. There's a tuition fee? Of course! This is a Grand Master we're talking about here. He doesn't have time to waste. If you want face-to-face -face training, you've got to show you're sincere about it. <sighs> but here we are, having trained under him directly all this time without even a hint of improvement. Master is getting increasingly impatient with us. Recently, though, we heard that a vision bearer joined the Guhua clan and made pretty much instant progress in their training. So, if we can get our hands on a vision too, maybe we can finally make our master proud. Well, we have to try something new. Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. Exactly. It can't hurt to try. 
And if it turns out it does work, the Ling Shan clan will go down in history. Folks will come from far and wide. Heck, we could even become the dominant martial arts clan in all of Liyue. See you in the arena. If we win, we could even start our own clan and take disciples of our own. Keep your voice down. What if the master heard you've been saying something like that, huh? Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash, too? If so, seems I've found myself another new adversary. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as a champion. For me, obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. No, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far, without any setbacks. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seem to get on with just about everyone socially. In most people's eyes, I am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, <laughs> I'd never let the praise get to my head. I know I haven't reached perfection yet, because there's one thing I'm still missing. A vision. You have so much self-confidence. That's not important. I have a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me, so they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. I've also brought along a bit of an entourage for moral support. It's such a blessing, really, to have so many good friends in my neighborhood. Of course, I also put in a few good days' practice, concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric styles of Kung Fu. As a high achiever by nature, I'm confident I've done enough to guarantee my victory in this tournament. <laughs> I seem to have gained another fan. Don't let my aura overwhelm you, though. You'll need your wits about you today. Now then, if you don't mind, I need to finish my pre-competition routine. It's not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. So, to recap, we're up against an inflated ego, some gullible guys paying way too much for their kung fu classes, and another guy who's just... really average. Hmm... Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. Come on, let's go sign up! Chinksa Village Arm Wrestling Champion, huh? <sighs> Alright, you're signed up. Next, please. What's your name? Wait, uh, aren't you... Oh, did I hear that right? Is it really them? Uh, huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Uh, I, I have to ask, aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? Ah, oh, it's really him! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting! Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get his autograph later. I trust you are aware that, uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament? Really? But, but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. Yep, he still doesn't have a vision though. See for yourself! Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Uh, it's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. So far, I've got... Defeated the Ancient God of Sile, so that's one. Do you have any others? Yeah, and also a dragon, too! Put down Battle with Storm Terror. Whoa... Might as well declare him the champion already. I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. Okay, um, that's plenty. Actually, this is the most dazzling track record I've ever seen. By a long shot. Right, your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. 
A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize. Namely, a vision. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. There's another prize, too? Oh, first I've heard of it. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous as Inazuma? I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance, then? Well, I'm sure a great hero has an important reason for being here. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Hey, so... Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the tournament. You know, just to avoid any misunderstandings. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? Alright, it's showtime! You got this! You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Not a problem, there's still time. Make sure you're fully prepared. <laughs> 